Hello everyone, boxing is back, what can I say, Saudis are just pumping it, they are making good fights, Opetaya vs Briedis 2, uh, saw the news few days ago, but it wasn't really official, again regarding the belt, will the belt gonna be on the line, the IBF, um, yeah, so guys, this will gonna be, be juicy and it's gonna be a bit long, longer video. It's not gonna be three minutes because there's lots to cover. And again, heavyweights are moving, cruiserweights are moving, boxing is getting that cash injection it needs to make good fights. So let's jump into it. So people, let's rewind quickly and let's see what's happening. So, last news on Horizon R, Brigadis supposed to be fighting Ramirez for IBF title which got stripped away from Opetaya. Yeah, that was happening. They were going for purse bit because Briedi said, you know what, I don't wanna try to go left or right, let's just see who can raise more money and we're gonna fight in that place. That's about it, That that's literally what was the last things on to the news. But now, the things has completely changed because uh, Ramirez is fighting someone completely new. Who is it? Well, let's take a look. Arslan Gulamerian, the WBA champion, which is very, very inactive. And most people don't really haven't heard about him because he's inactive and he isn't really making any, I don't know, headways, hasn't really been challenging anyone. Regardless of that, well, he has landed the fight against Ramirez. It sounds a bit more like Ramirez is giving the opportunity for Arsene to fight him uh, as he actually can sell the tickets and Arsene has been super inactive. I would say having one fight in three years as a champion, he should have been stripped from the belt. But again, it's WBA people, okay? That's completely different ball game of boxing. Yeah, okay. Um, that's a bit kind of cl clown type of boxing. Uh, but um, we may have a new cruiserweight champion who most likely going to be quite active and going to be pushing the action and promoting boxing. So another good cruiserweight fight coming up. Let's hope so. Where is it taking place? Going to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, because there is a good chance the Saudis may offer better money and it's going to Saudi Arabia. Again, a good fight in Saudi Arabia. Um, but... When is it taking place? I think they said something regarding March, so it could be an undercard. Same time, I do like this really build up Saudi's fight events, but just putting so many champion fights, uh, I in my eyes, I would say just spread them out a little bit more so there is more over longer time period. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these cards are just amazing, not gonna lie, as a boxing fan, I really like them. But let's jump back to another inactive fighter, Briedis, because Briedis hasn't fought since his defeat against Opetaya. So let's jump on to that one, guys. So yeah, guys, Opetaya versus Briedis 2. There is a lot to unpack on this one, so let's jump into it. So, rematch is here. Opetaya didn't want to rematch Briedis and I completely understand why because he won the fight and there is no reason for him to go back there and get in high risk low reward fight he won it was very close fight but Opatai did win this fight uh, he got injured and he became the champion and he tried to make the best out of the situation but now the things have turned. I assume both fighters have been offered enough money and the money incentive is there for them to go back and do the fight. Having said that, IBF just literally stripped Opetaya like a month or two months ago from the belt. And they're like, oh yeah, you're not fighting Briedis or whatnot, so we're going to strip you from the belt. And now they're fighting for the same belt, which is a bit hilarious. This is, this is kind of what I see from Opetai's side, that it's literally just about money, because they, there's no reason for him to fight Briedis. So yeah, people, the I would assume the Briedis point of view for this fight is um, that I could do better, and the performance from the first fight does not really reflect on my skills, and 
my skills at this moment and I could beat him because otherwise I don't understand why Briad is, is going for IBF. There was other possibilities, other belts, he could fight different people, but he is still going after Opetaya and uh, I mean he must really believe he could do better than he did in the first fight, okay? So having said that, if we look back on the last few British fights, he gets injured like in all the fights, he gets his nose broken uh, or cuts or stuff like that. So he is at that stage of his life, he's veteran of boxing, he is getting prone to injuries. It is what it is uh, and he's not young anymore. Overall, I mean, amazing career, I would say he's in top 10 best cruiserweights of all time, but at this stage to go against Opataya and I view Jay Opataya as the best cruiserweight now out there as he's in his prime he has the the speed the youth um, the ring IQ everything on his side why is Briad is pursuing himself to go against Opataya I gonna the only thing is that he believes he can do better and now there is money behind it you know he's pushing forward uh, Again, if he would go for different different boxers, different belts, does it really matter? I mean, yeah, having said that, we all know Briadis has been preparing for this fight for a very long time. But is it enough at this stage of his career? I still view him as like definitely in top 10, maybe top 5 best cruiserweights even at this moment, but can, can he beat Opataya? And uh, let's take a look from the third party you and let's look at the uh, bookies so bookies are just giving terrible odds to uh Briedis. they are literally just viewing him as he's literally stepping first time in a boxing rig it's it's ridiculous uh so yeah i mean if you're placing anything on opetaya you're literally getting nothing back you know you're getting back like just just about 10 percent Again, guys, I'm not encouraging any gambling, nothing like that. I'm just kind of stating that this is how the gambling point of view is viewing uh, this fight. So that they are literally giving no chance of <laughs> Briadis to win this fight. It could be explained because Briadis was off for such a long time and he never took any tune-up fights, which I think he should. But again, it is what it is. He gonna be in a massive fight card. He gonna be under the undisputed fight between Yusik and Fury, which I think it's a amazing opportunity uh, for any boxer to be there and for anyone to go there and see this one. Uh, honestly, I, I'm just a bit sad it's not taking place in London, in UK. But has the world boxing scene shifted towards Saudi Arabia? Um, I would like to say yes, because there are many good fights which should take place, and they didn't happen because you had two skilled boxers, but they could not agree with money. And as I said in my previous video, there is no whinging about the money from Saudis. It just gets done. That's it. So has the scene shifted towards Saudi Arabia? It looks like it. It looks like the, the places like UK and United States... They just don't have the appeal. They just don't have the money. There's too many restrictions. There's too many rules. And is this good for boxing? Who knows? But will I enjoy it? Definitely. So, guys, I encourage you to get your pay-per-views or your plane tickets and go enjoy the event because this one, this one event, will going to be one for a very long time. I don't know when we're going to see the <laughs> next undisputed super heavyweight champion. So yeah, guys, make sure you have your tickets, at least pay for pay-per-view, and enjoy the show. Mrs. Us, out.